Well, let me ask you a question. Who was one of your favorite people to, to interview? Um, I had a lot of, I mean, all, yeah, yeah. it was hard. So I was a huge fan of, if, here's how I felt about it. If you made it to Rap City, I was going to give you all the love I possibly okay. could. Okay. Right? Respect. Because if you could make it that fucking far, I'm going to be the last person to critique or hate or say, you know, your shit ain't on. Fuck that. You made it this far. I don't care where you from. Your shit might be garbage. Mm -hmm. And it was some garbage that came through. <laughs> But I'm not going to be the one to shit on your dreams because you right. made it all the way here. Sure, sure. sure and I don't sure. know what's banging in your neighborhood, what's right. banging in your city, right. your state, what's happening there. So, right, right. But I got to interview uh, on some other shit. I got to interview George Clinton. Okay. Who is my- On Rap City? George Clinton was doing records with uh, Ice Cube and him at the time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and he had been sampled by everybody. Like sure. Eric Sermon, mm -hmm. Red Man Ho, First two albums is all George Clinton. Yeah, um, what you call it is your uh, do the Humpty Hump. Right, That's a George Clinton sample. Um, I could just go through it. Like, so I was just blown away that I got to interview him. Sure, sure, sure. And sure, sure. that interview sucked ass because I'm like the biggest fan, and so it was just like a fanboy interview. Just yeah, you gotta be careful about fan. that. Fan, yeah, it just yeah, it looked yeah. it was horrible. Well, was it, speaking of that, you were the one of the, the last to do Biggie. I was. The, I got the last television interview. A, last television interview. I got with the him. last television interview, and then three days later he got shot. Right, right. And and y'all were on a set of something like tennis court. We, or something? No, we were actually sitting on a soundstage for. We were sitting on the sound, so the way the camera angle was, right. you couldn't see everything. We were sitting on the sound stage. There was a gate right there. You couldn't get in there. Couldn't nobody find us. And it was the set of the hypnotized video. Right. So, like, I don't know, maybe 20 yards that way right. was the sound stage where they was doing all the dancing. He was on the cane with the girls right, and everything right, dancing was right, right there. Oh, okay. So they took a break from the hypnotized video. Right. And we were supposed to do it a day before out there on the boat, if you right. remember that oh, video. Yeah, yeah, so I was boat. supposed to get on the boat, do the interview, but it was too much pyrotechnics and all that other shit. And we sat in Santa Monica, I sat in the Santa Monica Bay on a dinghy down there by, uh, by uh, not Santa Monica, by... Um, uh, Venice uh, Beach? No, no, keep coming down. Uh, uh, Mosa? Marina Del Rey. Marina, okay, Marina I sat in Marina Del Rey in a dinghy for like three hours. It was cold. It was trying wet. to interview him. Trying to get this Biggie interview. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. only for them to say, you can't get out there on the boat. Right. So then he made sure that we got it the next day. Okay. And I, I and so I showed up to do the interview. Um, I stayed an extra day to do the interview. Um, I had no idea. People always ask me, did you know this? I had no idea. Of course, of course. This was just, course. this was a big interview. But, but it was also during the beef of LA and all that, him to be there. You didn't feel I any kind of way? I was sitting in the middle. Of the East Coast, West Coast beef. Right, right. I sat in the middle of the East Coast, West Coast beef every day. Like, every day was another, it was, I was even interviewing by somebody from the West Coast. Why y'all East Coast niggas hate on us so much? Right, right, right. Or I'm interviewing somebody from the East Coast. Man, fuck that whack ass shit out there. Right, right. Right? Right. And I'm sitting in the middle of that shit. At the same time, I'm, the first time I ever saw Biggie was on stage with Tupac at Bowie State University. Wow. For their homecoming. Okay. So I understood them two from a whole nother perspective. Right, right. And so um, I really wanted this interview. Um, I felt that, and Tupac had, pa had passed away six months earlier, right, six, sure. seven months earlier. And there's no way both guys going to get killed. Uh, that's true, too. There's no, you know, if I put it in context, there's no right, way. Right, right, sure. This, this, this is going to be fine. Hip-hop is done with this shooting and shit. Because right. we just lost Tupac. We just lost one of our biggest stars. It's, it's, that, my, my mindset is not. Everybody, a lot of people weren't thinking about it. Yeah. And I never had security. I look, I went to the West Coast. I knew I knew hood rules. You and I know hood rules. Right. When you go to somebody's hood, you act accordingly. Right, sure. Don't stick your chest out too much because sure. they'll push that motherfucker back in. Sure, sure. So I moved through L.A. without problems, without issues. Even in the middle of the East Coast, West Coast beef, the West Coast niggas would still give me love. Still, you know, who you name the rapper. You name the comedians. You name. I went to every club. I went to every right. hood. Right. I went to Compton. I went to Long Beach. I went to Watts. I went to South Central. I went everywhere. Without security, none you, of that. You were living out there at the time? No. All right, I can say. You I would just fly out for okay, okay, when I, I needed to, to. Right, right, right. And so um, we do the interview. Great interview. Um, he got to, you know, express what he needed to express. And we we finished the interview. Twist up, smoke a couple blunts. 
and I go and get on the plane to catch the red eye. I go back, pack, go back to the hotel, pack my bags to catch the red eye because the Def Comedy Jam tour was starting. That that was on a Wednesday. Def Jam tour was starting on Friday in Texas. So I had to get home. I had to fly back to the West East Coast. Right. Sure. Pack my shit and then get on the bus with Kid Capri and them. Oh yeah. On the tour out. bus. Oh, yeah, I loved it. That was the best thing oh, ever. I'm gonna get him on the show. Come on, kid. I need you on the show, bro. Come on, kid. Yes. And that tour was me. Zoo Man, Mike B, Mike Epps, right. Samoa was the host, nice. and Kid Capri. Yeah. And so, so I, I go to, we do the first night, which is Friday night, and then that was Dallas, and then we go to Houston on Saturday night. Finish the show, go to the after party, whatever, whatever, whatever. I get drunk, smoke some weed, go back to my hotel room, and I'm passed out. Kid Capri calls my room hour hour and a half later. This is when uh, pages. No, no. Yep, Big and page. this was the first. The, uh, what was the flip one? The open. Yeah, yeah. The, Not the. Uh, I know you're talking. You know the, 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 the first fit. open. Gray with the green fit. What? Yep. No, no. before the two way. Before the two way. Yeah, yeah, anyway, know. yep, that joint. Yeah. Um and K Capri like yo. Biggie got shot last night. I was like what? It's like Biggie got shot. I was like yeah. All right. <laughs> oh shit! Really? You know I'm I'm drunk. I'm still <laughs> right. drunk. And. That makes sense. Shooting. We come from a hood. We're used to hearing somebody got shot and it not being real. We're used to hearing rumors about somebody got shot. We're used to that in our cool. Sure, sure. Then my girl called me about two hours later. They say Biggie got shot. I was like, well, maybe it might be some truth, some to, truth to this. Mm -hmm. What you hear? She breaking it. Okay, cool. So let me turn on the news. I turn on headline news. You remember it was every oh, half yeah. hour. Oh yeah. And I turn on headline news, and the first story that comes up at the top of the hour: rapper Christopher Wallace was shot last night after leaving the party and blah 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 the vibe party. And, mm -hmm. and I was like, I was gonna stay and go to the vibe party, but I had to go get on tour. Huh? Nigga, you got the last interview Biggie gave. Huh? I really, I really didn't think about it like that. Wow, that's crazy. During, I was at the comedy store, working at the comedy store in Hollywood, and I lived on Fairfax and uh, Pico, whatever, mm -hmm. Fairfax and Pico. So I had to drive past the yeah. Peterson. It's called the Peterson Museum. Uh -huh. And I went, I, I went to do a tour. At the time I was married, me and my wife went to do a tour, just like old cars and so forth. So as I was coming back home, it was around whatever time, let's say 11, 11.30, I can't remember the time. I'm driving by, back. I remember all these black people coming out of it. I'm like, Black people don't, this is Peterson Museum. Why black people Peterson Museum? Exactly. Right. Why y'all coming to Peterson Museum? It's not something I'm no, you're used to. I just remember whole people, a lot of black people coming out, you know, young party girls. I didn't know what was happening. I just was right. tripping out that black people come out of the Peterson Museum at the time. I get home, went to not spend the night, and I was, well, went to sleep. Woke up the next morning, and one of his white friends of mine, he called me. He was talking about, he said, he said, yeah, Biggie got shot. Notorious big, big, big. I said, you know, like, I'm trying to be like, don't be the asshole, don't be a dickhead. And, you, right. know, you know, I don't know what we were talking about beforehand, but I'm like, don't, don't do that dickhead shit. You know, I don't hear that. Because there's ticker tape on MTV, had a ticker tape on the bottom, it was going across. And he was reading it. He said, no, no, I'm, I'm being serious. And I was like, was... all right, let me turn on. I turned on MTV and it said, you know, the ticker tape said he got shot. And I was like, wow, that I drove past it. I probably was no hey. more than maybe 10 minutes past that thing. I just didn't went down because people were coming out and mm -hmm. it happened when he came out. And I was like, wow, man. But to know that you talked to him, you consider him top five, top three. I don't even put him in a category. Oh. I don't even put him in a category. He's, he's <clears throat> by the time he passed away, he was a couple years into his career. It wasn't like I got to see Biggie play out. I didn't get to see Tupac play out. I don't know what kind of MCs they would have eventually been. Hmm. So I don't put them in categories. Hmm. I don't. They just are there. They right. are the two icons that you can't fuck with. That you. You just, you can't fuck right. with that. It's and then just, you start the list after that. Yeah, and then I start my list. From that. If you like that clip, hit the subscribe button or the notification bell. In fact, why don't you hit both of them?